Hunters and outdoors enthusiasts like Todd and Gail Huddle of McPherson eagerly look for shed deer antlers at this time of year. Both are avid archery deer hunters with trophy mounts on their walls, but they extend their hunts by looking for sheds. Each spring, bucks drop their antlers and grow a new set over the summer. These natural artifacts are great treasures for those who find them, especially those who know the individual bucks in their areas. An army of searchers takes to the woods in late winter to find shed antlers. Todd recently returned from a long afternoon of walking with six finds, an unusually productive day. He explains the thrill that all shed hunters find in this natural treasure hunt. Well, today I went shed hunting and I would say I covered probably close to four miles. Uh, by the time I zigzagged through the, through the bottom of the creek and out through the pasture. And I, I would say easily four miles, yeah. By the time you follow all the networks of, of yeah, trails. And yeah, and through the, up through the draws. Uh, yeah. All places I think there might be uh, areas that they'd bed in or or even just get out of the weather. You know, we had some rough weather last week. I thought, well, maybe it'd be a good opportunity to look in some of those places that they might just get out of the weather and end up dropping their antlers. All the snow that we had last week, everything was really matted down. Yeah. All the leaves and, and even the grass was laying down. It was a lot easier to look ahead and, mm -hmm. and see the antlers laying up ahead. Yeah. A lot of these that I found, I just stopped and was scanning, you know, looking around. One of them, I even had my binoculars out, and I came across it looking through my binoculars. You did? Yeah, <laughs> looking to, along yeah. the edge of the field. Todd's dad, Gail, is a veteran shed hunter as well. He often hunts antlers with Todd to more thoroughly cover an area. They look for particular antlers of deer they've seen or photographed, but any antler, large or small, is a good find. What's amazing to me is, is the difference in when they drop them. It has to do with the individual animal. You know, they, they can drop them in December, or they can drop them, carry them all the way up to April. Gail offers these tips for antler hunters. They're, they're going to drop them when they drop them. This line will be on a fence, this line will be on a, on a sumac, this line will rub it off on a sumac, or this line will be in a road ditch. We found them in road ditches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to forget looking in alfalfa fields and wheat, winter wheat fields because those are places they drop them. Shed antler hunting is a great way to enjoy winter's final days outdoors. Lucky hunters sometimes find a matched set of antlers, though sometimes deer drop each side days and possibly miles apart. Fresh antlers make the best displays since older ones are often gnawed by rodents for minerals or bleached and weather checked. Get some exercise and find an antler. It will put you in tune with the Kansas outdoors. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.